We're getting off the ship today in Cobe, Ireland. I mean, it looks like it says Cobb, but I think they pronounce it Cobe. We are in the Port of Cobe Cruise Terminal. And Janet's here somewhere. She's just hiding. Um, and you might notice I'm wearing the same shirt I wore in uh, Falmouth. Because I only have two shirts and I reserve the other one for having dinner. This one's more cool and it's pretty warm here. Pretty warm. We're on the beautiful island, Princess. In our cabin, the air conditioning is not working. So it's hot in there and we're gonna just take a stroll through Cove uh, they lost our luggage on the flight over and so we have no luggage and we had a tour scheduled to Blarney Castle in this port but I canceled it because I was afraid I might have to deal with luggage today I was I was hoping I would have to deal with luggage today you know it's at Heathrow I thought they'd fly it into Dublin and drive it down here, but we leave here in seven hours, so I don't know if it's coming. Our anyway, that, so it's still not moving. <laughs> that's Janet behind the mask. So we're just going to walk around in Cobb. Cobb. So we've left the port gates. There's this little statue here. Um, and there's the Titanic disaster, great loss of life. Maybe this is the Titanic Museum. Blarney Castle. Oh, taxi tours. Kinsale. Blarney. That was where we were going today. But I had to cancel it. Which is good because we only got up an hour ago. <laughs> and we had been up at six. Fish. Look at that. So the red brick building is where the ship is. Um, Quay's Bar and Restaurant is right here. We're going to stroll along the waterfront. The water is right on the other side, right? And then head up into town, such as it is. These people have been out and they're already returning. Those are some colorful buildings. So I guess it's 24 kilometers to Cork. Don't think we're going to walk there today. I see the steeple of the uh, cathedral. Cobb Cathedral. Cork Tidy Towns? Cobb Tidy Towns. So there's a playground here with a cannon. Because <laughs> they go together so well. Uh, a bandstand and some little uh, kiosks or booths set up down there. So I don't know if that's normal or if that's something's going on today. It is um, Sunday? So, oh, so church will be in session. Maybe. In case I didn't say, this is Ireland, right? Southern Ireland. Dublin is north of here. Belfast is in Northern Ireland, way north of here. You can see the ship right there. That's all the further we've walked so far. Um, Kelly's bar, and there it is. It's huge. And the Irish Red Cross is here. <laughs> Janet says this stuff is the People's Regatta, and it's just going on this weekend. So that's what we're seeing here. It's not the usual thing. Guy barbecuing. White Star Line. Titanic. I read that this is the last place the Titanic stopped before it uh, sunk. You know, headed across the Atlantic. Church. Sonia Sullivan.
That sign says it's the Lusitania Pier. I believe that's another ship that sank. Although, not from an iceberg. And now they've turned it into an amusement park with Toy Town. Murphy's Center Car Park. Okay. I'm walking about 10 minutes now. Gift shop's open. We're discovering almost everything's closed, except bars and gift shops anyway. Because it's Sunday, although maybe we'll find out places are open later. I'm gonna walk along here, I think. Down to the Titanic Memorial Park. This historic yellow building with that tower is a Chinese restaurant. But I guess you have to do something with them. And this is a cul-de-sac. So we may have to go up and around. But we're going to walk down here and see. So this is Customs. Mercantile Marine Office. Turclog Clock Tower. And this is the deep blue sea. I'm guessing the Irish Sea. Or part of it. And those are islands out there. Of course, this is an island too, I believe. If you look way down there, that's the Island Princess. We walk down along the shore here. There's these apartments or vacation rentals or something. And a dead end. So, unless you just like to walk and you want to see the uh, seagulls foraging in the sea, Um, there's people on a beach down there, a rocky beach, but I'm not sure if they came from there or they jumped over the fence like Janet says. You see what Janet did there? That's what we're going to do. Oh, look at that. I got a backpack in my hand. Hey. Okay. Smarty. I backpack. You go down to there and help me. Hi. Hi. So we came from up there, down the rocks. I didn't videotape it. It wasn't pretty, but we didn't fall. Yet. These folks here say we can get up over here. Like I say, you might want to stay up on the street. Look at these rocks, though. I think they're bricks. Or in a former life, they were bricks. See, because some still look more or less like a brick. So this is one rocky beach. And of course it's smoother there up there. There's a path up to the street right there. I don't know if there's a fence up there or not. Of course there's the ship and there's the Janet. It looks like there used to be buildings down here, doesn't it? Anyway, a little further and then we'll go up. Well, there it is. There's Janet. Um, we've gotten to an area near the water, so we're going to stay up high. Some of these rocks are slippery now. If you do decide to come this way, be careful. But I think we're back to the street here, too. Wow! Well, Watch out for that. This looks like the way out. So that was a nice stroll along the beach. Wild berry vines everywhere. Up this ramp and onto the street. Hey, here's where the pilots park. So we came up that ramp there's the ship. And we got some stairs ahead of us. We came upstairs right there past that last car there. This gray car in front of the van. And we're walking down this road. And there's some benches. And we came across this sign. Titanic Memorial Garden. Pedestrian access only. 
So we're gonna go in. And then we came across that sign. I don't think they charge to get in here. We're gonna find out real quick though, aren't we? We're not going in there. That's some sort of port control, port operations. Yeah. Guess that's in Irish, Gaelic, maybe. Bless you. Thank you. Can you see this? It's got names on it. That's a big map of the ship dedicated to all those on the maiden voyage of the RMS Titanic, April 1912. 123 passengers boarded at Queenstown. 79 were lost, 44 were saved. Bruce Ismay spent many happy hours here. I guess that's where that tunnel leads to, down there. It says Titanic 1912 in plants down there, although it's dying slowly. Well, that's the garden. There's this wall here with a gate, but the gate is bolted on every side. You know. Bolt to the wall, so it doesn't open anymore. There's the sign though. You might want to read it. Feel free to pause the video. The Titanic Memorial Garden is that way. We're going to walk back along here. We're not going to go down to the beach this time. We're going to follow this road. And eventually it'll take us right to the cathedral. Which is our next stop. Titanic Memorial Park was way past those trees, remember? This is the rocky beach we walked on down here. You can see it. Of course, there's the ship and there's the cathedral. So we're gonna go up that street. From there, uh, the rocky beach is down below there. Uh, and then I saw this. And there is absolutely no ball playing in this park. So I guess balls of any kind. Scarlet begonias, orange begonias. Those are so pretty. You're so pretty. Check out the trash cans. See, that's so we're making our way up this street. We're very narrow. I'm assuming it's one way. And we're taking stairs. Every few feet. Well, now there's no more stairs for a while. And there's the cathedral up there. Well, I guess this would mean it is a one-way street even though cars were parked on it going the opposite direction on some of it, I think. Or maybe that was down there. So this is a crossroads. And that's the road we might have taken from the ship up, rather than the beach down there. But now we're up here. In the road, there's a car coming. And a local. We finally reached the top of the hill. The cathedral is right there. See it now? I think we've walked about a mile and a half so far today. Of course, we went all the way to the memorial. Now we're at the cathedral. More or less. And it's Sunday, so I don't know if we're going to be able to go in. Caution children to play.
Russian dog at play. What's the sign represent? Oh, it's a car park. And, oh, for going down the wharf or whatever. Lusitania? At least looking. Adoration Chapel. So we're going to take a walk down to the front. Oh, I just sounded the uh, bells, but I didn't get in time. Hello. That's uh, pretty fancy, huh? It's pretty good sized. Those are the colored houses. We've got some holy water here, and there's a fountain over there. Okay, did you say And those are the deck of cards houses. Of course, that's the backs of them. We're going to walk up that street at the front of them. But first, we're going to go down here. So we're at front of it. Um, I think the official name is St. Coleman's Cathedral. Let's walk up here. People went in. <laughs> Waiting for Janet. Go, go, go. Inside Coleman Cathedral in Cobe, Ireland. And it's a pretty good sized cathedral with a wooden vault, stained glass windows way at the top, and stained glass windows all the way around. And of course, a pipe organ with a big Rosette stained glass window. All right, so we're gonna go up here because we want to do the uh, houses over there. Deck of Cards houses, I think it's called. Ooh, the cathedral shop is that way. I think services are getting ready to start. People are starting to show up in there. The church. There's the cathedral. I think that's a fire station because it says fire station on the ground. And I think that's the Quarry Cock Bar. The famous Quarry Cock Bar. We're famous now. And St. Benedict's Priory. And a way to walk through without going on the street. Eh, we can go up here. Have you ever been talking to somebody and you look up and they're across the street? Me too. 
Cathedral up that street. Saw a couple bars, pharmacists. It's Sunday and it looks like everything's closed. So we're gonna head back down. That's the town center right there, I guess. Unless Janet wants to look up there more. And then we're gonna head straight down this street because that's the deck there of cards. Whoop. Deck of cards. And it looks just like a deck of cards, doesn't it? And a hat. Because somebody's still bless you. Because somebody stuck their head in the door. Anyway, I see a blue door and I don't want to paint it black. But I do want to see what's under the side of it. Thank you. It's a jungle in there. I guess it's somebody's backyard. From the cathedral, we went around this block looking for a shop open. Nothing's open. It's Sunday. And then we came back down to the deck of cards houses, which are these colorful houses. And we're just going to walk along this side of the street so we can see them. We walk over there, we're up against them. But look, it's one, two, three, and I guess so on. It is fairly steep, and I'm maybe in the road. There's a sidewalk on that side. I'm hoping nobody hits me. But if it was raining or something, this might be slippery. I don't know. I can hear the church chiming 12 noon. I think it's done. That's right. oh. We're chiming again. <laughs> <laughs> it actually feels like it's getting steeper. <laughs> and then there's a Japanese knot weed. Does that mean it's Japanese but not a weed? Or it's like tied in knots? Anyway, I guess it's something they're trying to get rid of. So this is a little park. That's the flag of Ireland. We walked into the park. There's the deck of cards houses in the cathedral. Um, I think this park is dedicated to maybe Irish freedom. Yeah, another black cat. Remember it was a part of England for a while? So I switched my GoPro to super view. So you could kind of take it all in. I think a lot of people just drive by here to see this is a very busy road and it shouldn't be really because there's another road right on the other side that's two lanes and everything. But maybe the locals use this, I don't know. Oh, well, there's the deck of cards houses. There's the cathedral. Where we were walking now becomes a sidewalk as we head back to the waterfront. There's another road. Um, Janet says there's another row, but they're not quite the same, are they? Chamber of Commerce. Oh, Deck of Cards houses are right up there. There's a cathedral. All the bars are open, restaurants, just no place to buy any clothes. The ship should be right around this corner here. A full Irish pizza, whatever that is. So this has got the Queenstown story. It's the Irish Heritage Center, I believe. 
I think there's shops and restaurants in there. Let's let's go in. So, uh, that's it for Kyle, Ireland. Uh, the train station is around the corner here. 690 round trip to Cork, just so you know. We didn't do it, but if you wanted to know. But on Sundays, it runs irregular, so we decided to not take a chance. Um. But it's right there, through a door in the middle of that brick building there. Anyway, so goodbye from uh, Cobb, Ireland. See you in the next part. Port Muggy's out. Bye. Bye.